Hello and welcome back to Blackwatch Intel. My name is Karashi and today I want to revisit a topic we've talked about here on the channel. Obviously, as you can tell, I want to talk about SR gain and loss. And I kind of want to give my position on it and, um, you know, be as objective and honest and true as possible because I think this is probably more of a serious topic for me because it's coming from my perspective directly. And on this topic, I really am going to beg you to leave me a comment with some form of response on your thoughts, at least about um, my opinion on, on what I'm talking about today. So I, I kind of want to preface this by saying I'm not someone that can sink a ton of time into Overwatch. I You work a 40 hour a week job, full time job. I'm in a very committed relationship. I'm committed to health and I go to the gym every day and spend about an hour there. And at the end of the night, I'm really willing, mentally willing to give about two, maybe three hours to Overwatch. And then I have to rinse repeat my cycle. And I don't want to complain. That's not what I'm here for. The game is fun. I enjoy playing it. And that's that's what I can give. That's, you know, my position in Overwatch. And then the weekends I kind of, you know, do different things and, and spend time playing the game as well. So, uh, but Monday through Friday, that's what I can give. And I feel like the problem is that I feel this, I feel that the system doesn't really want me to climb. And, you know, it isn't very intuitive in terms of how you gain your SR. And it's, it's just ultimately hard for me to predict how long it's gonna take for me to actually climb. And I think that's the first issue I have with it. It's gonna take me forever to climb up in this game. And that's not even the worst part. I think it's just it's just this unpredictable nature of trying to climb up. It's this, uh, it, I just never know what a night's gonna hold for me. And win loss wise, obviously, if you lose more than you win, you shouldn't be climbing and that's fine. I'm totally good with that. So at the end of the night, I wanna say that, you know, if I had a negative night, then I'm gonna have negative reflection on that. But it's the, the breaking even nights where I lost SR from where I started that really just make make this so, you know, taxing and so daunting. It's just so frustrating to to keep being a competitive player, but that's more on the casual side in terms of how much I can devote to it and really having aspirations and really having a goal, but just feeling like, man, even if I have a 50% win rate, I'm just going to go downward. And so this is all going to lead back to a topic. I'll leave it in the YouTube card above about me talking about standardizing the SR. And this does two things. One, it guarantees that you have to have a positive win rate to climb. And two, it eliminates any weird SR issues that we have with the performance based SR where you can abuse heroes and climb faster and you get more SR for, you know, hitting the certain points that the, you know, the, uh, the, the system wants you to do. So like having multiple reses or, or whatever that whole weird odd that we don't know anything about system is trying to do. And so I, my experience is, is, is from this night from you know, the time of my recording that I played three games, I lost all three in a row and I look at my SR and I shot down a hundred points and that just doesn't feel good. And in full divisions of rank where every division is 100, you know, or 500 points, that doesn't feel good to sit down and have a huge swing like that. And, and it doesn't, and it's not something I can guess that I'm going to do because one, I'm never expecting to lose. And obviously I'm going to lose. And that's fine. Like I said, I lost three games. I deserve to go down, but I didn't know how much I was going to go down. And I really did lose about a hundred SR. I think it was like 90 total 95, something like that. And I can't go back and look exactly because there's no match history. And I couldn't have anticipated how much I was going to lose because who knows how the system really works in terms of, you know, the exact calculations. It's not like I could look at an individual match and it tell me why I lost 27 or 29 or 31 or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So if we standardize the SR gain and loss, and this is just the best number I could come up with. Maybe it should be lower. Maybe it should be higher. I would love to see about 25 SR be the standard number. When you win, you go up 25 SR. When you lose, you go down 25 SR. So that puts per 100 SR four games in there. And I think that would be fair. I think that would be nice. I think it would be nice to know that, okay, 
now I'm not sitting here worrying about my stats at all. I'm not sitting here worrying about trying to one trick. And I don't anyways, but you know, that that is how some people play this game. It is how some people think and try to take advantage of the system, even though I honestly don't think that's a, a strong way of doing it because you have to win at the end of the game anyways. But if you're sitting there focusing on your stats and not trying to win, if you're sitting there one tricking and not swapping to what things need, if you're sitting there trying to be a flex player, but knowing the system's against you when you are a flex player, you're never going to climb. But now... If you standardize the system, if you standardize the SR gain and loss, it's 25. It is 25 when you win, it's 25 when you lose. You will have people that have now realized that it's not about how well you do. You can have a trash game and earn that 25 SR, but you have to win. And you have to focus on the win, and it makes the win the only thing that matters. It, it no longer matters if I'm doing good on my favorite hero. I need to win. It doesn't matter if I'm doing trash on my favorite hero, I need to win. And that might actually help people with wanting to swap. I've been sitting on this idea, and I, I can't believe it's not brought up more, I really can't, by you know channels and voices much greater than my own, but I would love this. I think it would drastically increase the game. I, I mean, improve the game. I, I, don't, I don't know, it's just such a, it's such a thing that I think is so simple. It gets rid of all the weird performance-based SR, and sure, I do think that it's nice to get rewarded when you do good, but if you lost, does it feel good to know that you cut out some of the SR that you lost? I mean, do you even see it? You don't even feel it. When you lose, you go down. That's just how it is. And right now, swinging up to like 30 points per loss, that hurts. It sucks to sit down in a single session and just dive your SR. I'd like to see a little bit more standard. I'd like to see that number come down because I do lose 30 SR in some games. I'd like to see that around 25. I'd like to know that when I'm winning, I'm going up. And I'd like to know that on nights when I break even, man, I had a bad night. I went one and one, one and one, one and one. You know what I mean? I, I can say, you know what? Not that bad. I ended even for the night. But I can tell you right now, if I play four games, win two, lose four, or win two and lose two, it's not going to be the same SR. It may not, I don't know, you, who knows? I don't even, I can't even tell you as an example what my SR would be. So I think there's gotta be some other way to do it. I think standardizing SR could drastically improve the game and the competitive system. I think it promotes the win. I think it gets rid of some of the weird SR issues that we have on the ladder. And I think it might help with being able to predict, you know, how to climb, like actually setting yourself up for a trajectory. So that's my thoughts. I would sincerely love to have a comment from you today. I would love it. I would absolutely love to know what you think. So thanks for checking out this video. Please don't leave without leaving a like and subscribe for future content. I'm hoping to bring awesome topics. Thanks, and I'll see you for the next video. Does the beat take you over? Just